So the melting snow and the falling temperatures causing some problems this morning for local road crews. Now the main concern right now is a flash freeze of all the wet roads. Our live team coverage continues with 27 First News reporter Nadine Grimley live in Canfield with more. Nadine. Good morning, Dan and Amy. As from the last half hour, I don't know if you can see it, but my hair is blowing all over the place. The wind is picking up here in Canfield, and that could cause some problems for the roads. And joining us to talk about those problems this morning is Justin Chesnick with ODOT. And just talk to us. This wind could seriously cause some problems on the roads this morning. Well, yeah, any, anytime you get some windy, windy conditions, basically you have the threat of dr drifting snow, obviously. Any areas that are flat along the, the interstates or side roads or anything like that that has those open areas, basically some wind can come and blow some snow right out onto the roadway there. So you can have a dry or a wet stretch of road and then an inch of snow on the road. So motorists have to watch for conditions to change. Now, also, the temperature is dropping. I can feel it. It feels a little bit colder as we're standing out here than it did at 430. Just talk to us about how that's going to make everything turn to ice, and motorists should really be careful. Well, the good thing is most of the roadways, we have some of that slush and whatever snow was on the road off of the road. So that's good, but we still have wet roads. And what basically happens is when that temperature drops below freezing, you kind of get some black ice and some slick spots out there. So motorists are going to be driving around. If it doesn't start snowing, they're going to see wet roads, and they're going to assume that they can go to speed limit, but that's really not the case. They have to take it slow out there. There could be some black ice and some slick spots, so really just take it slow. Give yourself extra time today. Now your crews have been out all night treating the roads to make sure that they can do whatever they can to make sure it doesn't turn into those icy spots, but drivers should also be aware of the snowplow drivers as well. Absolutely. We're going to have about 40 to 43 snow plows out in Mahoning and Trumbull County all day today. When you see one of those snow plows, give them room, stay behind them. That's the best place to be in a snowstorm. They're plowing the road, treating the road in front of you. If you have to get around a snow plow, please do so very carefully. Watch. They make sudden turns. They make sudden stops. They're traveling 35, 40 miles per hour. So give them room and just proceed with caution around those snow plows. All right. So the moral of the story, keep a safe distance. Absolutely. And avoid distractions too. Pay attention. Go slow today. Give yourself extra time. All right, thank you so much, Justin. Now we'll continue to follow this throughout the morning, so be sure to stick with WKBN and WKBN.com. But for now, live in Canfield, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. Dan.